What if you couldn't simply go to the grocery store or market and buy what you needed? There is no shortage of food on the shelves, but you do not have the money to purchase the food. This is an issue that millions of people face all across the world in countries big and small, rich and poor, each and every day. Access to food is dictated by several different factors like political strife, environmental disasters, or social circumstances, and access, rather than availability, is the key to determining food security. You can define food security as the ability of all people to, to have enough food for an active and productive life. Food security, or the inverse idea of food insecurity, is determined by three factors. Food security has three aspects. There's food availability, food access, and food utilization. Food availability is where there's enough food in a market or in a store in a particular area to buy, and you know there's enough food in the region for everyone to get enough food. Food access is where there's problems with actually having enough money to buy that food where you need to buy it. And food utilization, it has to do with the health of the individual who's actually eating the food. So you can have food security problem simply due to illness and disease. Molly works closely with an organization called the Famine Early Warning Systems Network, or FUSENET, an agency within the U.S. Agency for International Development. The Famine Early Warning System, what it does is provide critical pieces of information on an ongoing basis about how well vulnerable communities are doing and meeting their food needs from day to day. There are many different ways you can become food insecure and the purpose of FuseNet is to identify those places where large numbers of people become food insecure for a variety of reasons. Two significant indicators of food security are weather and climate. The disproportionate effect of both can determine the severity of famine. Rainfall is very sporadic and it's all about distribution and not amount. And so it could be that even though you're having a very low rainfall year, you get just enough at each, at each time it gets dry so that you really will have a pretty good production year. If we can identify drought, uh, that necessarily does not mean that they become food insecure, but the question is how much food security have they lost? Does it mean that they go from three meals a day to two meals a day? Does it mean that they don't have enough food to provide sufficient food for their children and uh, the children become malnourished? What we're trying to do is measure the level that they're at and predict which way they're going so that we can intervene in time through either uh, USAID or through the community itself sometimes. If a particular region is going to have a bad harvest, FuseNet looks at the, the strength of the community. They look at how much food was produced in previous years. Is this the first bad year after many good years or is it the fifth bad year in a row? So it's all about context. If we understand the context, we can then provide accurate early warning of a crisis before it comes down the pike. This context includes politics and economics factors that are not easily measured, especially not from space. What a space-based perspective can provide, however, is valuable information about crop health. Satellite remote sensing, particularly from vegetation, because of its certainty and its reliability across space and time, has really come to be absolutely critical in trying to determine when there's a problem and when action is required. Having that early look at production that we get from remote sensing observations is critical to having the, the pieces in place and the analysis done and the people forewarned so that if there is a requirement for sending out food assistance, we will have all the little pieces in place so that we can do that in a rapid way. NASA will continue to provide this essential data and organizations like FuseNet will continue to combat the factors that cause famine.
In the next two decades, we expect to see simultaneous impacts from more people being around and needing to be fed and climate change impacting our ability to grow food. And so we're, we really don't know how climate is going to affect our food production capability, but we really don't have the luxury to wait around and figure it out as it comes along. Food security is a major problem. We need to be prepared to deal with it. And we're really going to be relying on remote sensing to tell us when we have a problem.